We've been thinking about how people react to disasters, and there really is this interplay between how people and infrastructure behave in disasters. Here at the University of Maryland, we're working with UMD facilities and Division of IT in order to study how to bring interdependent utilities back up and restored after natural disasters more quickly. Imagine that a heat pump for, say, stormwater management is out, and if the electric power utilities were able to deliver power more quickly to this pump, we could potentially reduce the amount of flooding in an area. So ultimately, what we'd like to see is that whether or not more coordination and communication about key assets it will speed, uh, speed recovery. How do we model humans? I mean, that is an impossible thing to do, but we can find patterns. And that's what the goal of our research is, to find patterns of human behavior, especially when making restoration decisions. The way that we'll be eliciting decisions in this project is through gaming. So we'll actually create a simulated environment in which they'll actually play these, quote, games in which a disaster happens, certain components fail, and we watch them see, okay, what's your first step? What are you gonna do next? We can do things like roll a die. And that represents some probability of something happening. So we can simulate failures in just in this really probabilistic sense. One product that might come out of this work is basically a set of guidelines. What are some of the strategies that they might want to take in order to restore power or water more quickly? One of the big things going forward about disasters is that with climate change and urbanization, we really don't know how to characterize these hazards and what kind of impact they will have in, in the future. So there's a good amount of research going on to try to understand how changing climates, more people in smaller spaces, really will affect the future.